Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachna and I am back with my another video. So let's get started. And so in my previous video, I talked about the storage. Okay, let me give you some brief uh, like storage. What is storage and its services? File, queue, table, and blog. So now we'll talk about the Azure storage accounts that we have okay so let's get started with this video and so first the storage account that we have is general purpose v2 account so the different types of storage accounts in that we have general purpose v2 account this is most recommended and mostly used uh, storage account in most of the scenario it is general purpose v2 account which provide the services like blog for blog files queue and table services now we have general purpose v1 account this also provide the same file like blog file queue and table but it is the older version of v2 account and now onwards like more like if any of the update comes from the microsoft it will come to the v2 account so it is recommended to use the v2 account now not the v1 account next we have the block blob storage account this is especially when you want to premium performance for the storage block or the append block in that scenario we have to use this one then we have file storage account this is especially uh, used when you want to premium performance for the file only storage next we have the blob storage account this is legacy storage account use general purpose v2 account as much as possible next we have more on azure blob storage so like blob storage is like a kind of um, object storage and it is stored the different kinds of object also it is used to store the unstructured data on the cloud and it is highly recommended when you want to store image documents video and audio files and when you store like when you create the blob storage you need to create the container which will contain your blob object and blob storage okay now we have there are three different types of blobs block blobs append blobs and page blobs so block blob is used for storing the text and binary data like we have an integration where we wanted to store the text and the binary data we use the block blob storage and we get the one thing like a storage account explorer that i'll talk you about in my upcoming video you can directly connect by using that tool to all these kind of storage next we have append blob this is ideal for logging data like uh, if you uh, you know like your logs are getting generated kind of integration you have where you have to append all the logs for all the services in the same files or in the different files then you can use the append blobs and then page blob this is used to store the virtual hard disk files or the azure virtual machines okay next next we have the replication techniques so the replication technique that we have is locally redundant storage so locally redundant storage is by default selected when you create the uh, like a storage account so the this is replication technique it means like in how many places and how many regions your same data will be stored on the azure okay so the first is locally redundant storage is by default selected and here data is replicated synchronously three times within a physical location in the primary region then we have the zone redundant storage zone, zone redundant storage is basically where data is replicated synchronously across three azure availability zone in the primary region so if one of the goes down then you can actually you will still have access to your uh, data from the other region okay and then we have geo redundant storage this is used in case of uh, disaster recovery so like the data is replicated synchronously three times in the primary region and then replicated asynchronous to the secondary region so we like if primary region goes down goes failure then you can still have access then you don't then your secondary will be enabled 
not like if you have access to the primary then secondary will not be enabled for you but if it is failure to the primary reason then you can access your data from the secondary reason so this is used for the like disaster recovery cases so as as you go on long like from our uh, like local redundant storage to geo zone redundant to the geo redundant the cost gets increased based on the access and the replication of your uh, data so the higher you will get in the out of three in the geo redundant storage okay then we have read access redundant storage read access storage basically like uh, in the first one geo redundant storage the secondary storage was available in case of the failure but in case of the geo read access geo redundant storage the secondary data that is in read access mode will be available if you have not a failure still on the primary reason but you will be able to access your secondary reason in the read in the read mode then we have geo zone redundant storage like the two types are also there based on the replication and the storage of the count and then we have this reference that i took it from the microsoft document like uh, we have storage account type supported services supported performance and supported so like in the general v2 account we have these services are provided and these are the uh, supported tiers and then we have supported access tier and these are the replication uh, technique so similarly we have v2 from the file storage we have the we do not have the access tiers and then but we have the performance like premium and the file only you can and these are the redundant technique that is available similarly for the blob storage these are the techniques that is available this is a chart that we have taken from the azure sites microsoft azure site okay next we have the azure blob storage access tier so hot and cool we have two tiers when you create the azure storage blob storage account you need to select the hot or cool the access tier means that this is optimized for storing data that is exit frequently if you want to access your like a password credential you mainly use the hot like you need frequently used but when you access these tiers you know like in very in like least in 30 days or something like that not a frequently accessible data then you can use the cool tier so the for the cool access tier the storage costs are lower than the hot tier because it is accessible the cost is lower in that case but the access costs are higher than the hot access tier because you are accessing at least the after 30 days something like that then we have archive tier this is optimized for storing data that is really accessed and stored for at least 180 days so this can be set only at the blob level now we have node menu blob when when a blob is in the archive tier you can't access the blob you have to rehydrate the blob first before it can be accessed also the storage costs are the least when it comes to the archive access tier but the access costs are the highest okay so these are the notes that you can have a note and with that you can learn about it read about it because these are uh, these factors are generally asked in the exams so you should keep into the mind okay so that's it for this video i will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will like create a lab where we will create and learn about all those concepts on the azure portal so the next session will be on the lab okay so till then take care thank you bye and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel thanks bye